I remember he sat in the um. <laughs> remember he sat in the little store. Are you watching? Gorilla for sale. <laughs> the Gila Gorilla and Molly the Gator. I still remember it. I'm sure not. He was in the store, always for sale. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. It's so funny. I haven't seen it. I had a piece of cauliflower in my mouth. Well, I about choked on it. I turned around. Somebody sent Scotty the, the link to that. And he was, that's what he was talking about the other day when we were walking down the trail. Well, he ate her. Yeah. Could you get a bigger smile on your face, please? I know. It's just so funny. <laughs> I should just brought something over. Some food? Yum. Okay, Rice what is it? And it's um, garlic pork curry. Oh, I can smell the garlic. Yeah. Yummy. Yum. Look at that. Garlic pork curry. Oh, Aja, that smells delish. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. I wish there was smell a vision. This, it's got a lot of garlic in it. You know, that's my favorite. Mmm, that is really good. So Aja said you could put this over the rice. I just put it separately, but yum. That was really, really tasty. What do you think, Scotty? It's awesome. Mm-hmm. Really good. Well, it scared of you. Dang it, I scared it already. Yeah, he's in the neighbors now. No. Oh, Where he was right there? by my foot. By your foot, he. he I was sitting right here, I and he watched, was right here. I yeah, You watched I, him come under from my camper, I, didn't you? I didn't. I didn't say anything. Scotty, Scotty. I didn't you want say me to get him. No, leave him alone. He's just eating. Snake. So I waited till he got right further there. away. Golly right whiz! Here, show his head. Oh, lordy be! I just don't want him around me. It's just a garden snake. Nope. He's being all stealthy there. Hold on. One second. Oh, Are you gonna gosh. grab them? No, no, no. I'm just gonna. I know. Out. I'm, that's what I'm afraid of. That they'll come around my. Um, Scotty, be careful. Well, his head's right there. Here he goes. Yeah. Here he goes. <sighs> okay. Bye. They're good for rodents um, yeah. in the garden. They're actually really good for the garden. <sighs> and they're not. They're not poisonous, <laughs> so. <laughs> I just I saw I saw him crawling from over there, but I wait till he got there because I know how you would have spazzed it. I would have rather not have seen it. <laughs> well, I mm. it. <laughs> no, that's I'm why I looked bitch. at you and I said, <laughs> "Don't freak out." Good eyeball. Said, <laughs> no, no, like, no. Don't freak out. Um, uh, although they are lizard eater eaters. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I there knew it. He was here. just way too close to my. Yeah. House. It's a garden snake. They I know. I know it is. So, so how are you doing after your encounter? People want to know. I'm <laughs> they said you were so mellow. <laughs> well, I mean, because I'm, I'm from South Carolina. I, I've dealt with snakes before. I know. We okay. sent it over to Dave's yard. Yeah. <laughs> Goodness. They're really good. They keep the rodents down. Yeah. I have ventured to South Carolina to Myrtle Beach and you have wounds everywhere. You can't, can't see it on my eye where I hit myself with a stick on the second day here, but now I got wounds on my knee. Because what happened there, you fell through the roof, didn't you? <laughs> through the rotted part of the roof, I know. <laughs> he was up there putting that tarp up there and his foot went through the, the wrong spot. Through the laundry room. I think I scraped my elbow. But he's okay. He, I've reached, I, I have checked to make sure he's okay. <laughs> I need to yeah. lick my wound. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to make some spaghetti. Sounded good to Scotty and I. And so, I'm going to make that up. I like to uh, cook my vegetables up. Get them a little browned up because I just like the flavor um, of that versus just throwing it all in a pot. I do I do it both ways, but every once in a while this is what I do because I like to 
get the mushrooms to have kind of a, uh, oh, I don't know, a little bit more cooked flavor to them. And then, I don't have any fresh onions left, but I did have uh, pepper and onion blend in the freezer. And I like to keep a bag of that on hand so that when I don't have fresh veggies, then I can just go ahead and use that. I also like to buy these little bottles of wine because, well, frankly, I don't drink a lot of wine, but I do like to cook with it, and these, uh, they're just a good size. All right, I've got my hamburger cooked in here. I should have done it first in the big pan, and then I should have uh, taken it out and put my veggies in there. That's all right. Then I would have only had one pan to clean up. Okay, just dump it in there. I don't drain it. That's a uh, pretty good hamburger. I've got a sausage left over. I'm going to go ahead and cut up. We had this just the other night. These are always good in spaghetti. That's why I didn't cook too much hamburger because uh, I knew we were going to have these. I'm going to fry those up just a little bit since that pan's already hot. Put my tomatoes in there. And I'm going to put my wine in. Uh, probably a quarter of that. Okay. Okay, I got one last thing that I usually put in here. I always put a little bit of butter in. I don't know who taught me that or if I just started doing it myself. But I always like a little bit of butter in my sauce for some reason. That I do always. Some Greek seasoning in there. And I'm going to put some more garlic in. Bring it up to a good little rolling boil there, and then I'll let it simmer. Instead of wasting water to boil noodles, I went ahead and added a few more, uh, a little bit more seasoning, and then I put in about two cups of water and diluted this sauce a little bit and we're gonna see how it is by cooking the noodles just in the sauce so might turn out and it might not and we're gonna find out So I'm assuming that we want to get it somewhat warmer than what it is simmering so that I can get the noodles to soften up to go down in there so I can uh, stir them around. So we'll, we'll see how this works. Never have I done that before. Now if this works... I might, I probably should have broken them up in threes, you know, three sections, which I can still kind of do, so it's not as hard to, oop, oh. 
we're just trying to think, you know, you, you end up wasting a lot of water when you're boiling it for your noodles. And then you got to clean the extra pan. That's more water. So we're just trying to see how this would work. I don't know if the noodles will get, uh, I don't know, smushy or not sure what they'll do. It's the one thing I always kind of hated making spaghetti when I was camping because I would uh, have to use my extra water. Well, it's definitely messier than just boiling noodles. I think I'll turn it down. And I'm going to go ahead and put the lid on it and then I'll stir it again. I've turned it down to about two, which is probably a really low heat on most people's fridge or uh, free uh, stove tops. We'll, we'll see how that works. Well, I can say one thing. It's going to be pretty starchy. So, I usually rinse my noodles um, after I boil them. But, we'll see. We're still going to give it a shot. So that's not a bad way to make spaghetti when you're camping. The noodles um, are kind of al dente. I'm sure if I let them cook a little longer, they would probably even do better. It did take longer um, than if you were going to boil the water and then put them in there. But, I don't have to clean up another pan. We saved a bunch of water. And it's yummy. So, I think that's how I'll do my spaghetti for now on. I added probably two cups of water. And like I said, I added um, some extra seasoning just because I was diluting it, diluting it um, a little bit more. And I think that's the way to go. Yum! We're not having any bread because that's just way too many carbs. We don't haven't done spaghetti in quite a long time. And I forgot to get fresh Parmesan, so this is it. Alright, we're going to go outside, sit by the fire, and have our spaghetti. See you guys later.